Hello all, today I'm going to be putting some window tint on my van windows and I'll be showing you how to do that. I've got this roll of tint from Bunnings and we're going to cover the back couple of windows. So your first step is to get some cleaning fluid and a rag and clean all the windows thoroughly. What you're going to do is get some of this stuff, a window film application, and it allows you to move the film about in the window freely and position it. So we're going to cut some film to size. We're going to place it in the window after spraying and then cut around the edges with a Stanley knife and that should be it. Time to forget you I'm all alone in a ghost town There's a beautiful madness Inside my soul and I can't stop Thinking of you Walking on the lonely avenue are you, are you, are you? My love's so wild, please give me a sign My love's so wild, please give me a My love's so wild, please give me a sign Okay, so I've installed the windows I've installed the window tint and as you can see they're different colours Now this has happened because I've had to position this on the outside because of the way this slides. If I put this on the inside, because this one slides over top of that one, then there's catching. So this is on the outside, and this one contacts a rubber seal in between these two windows. So when I first tried to put it on this side, it kept catching, and it was no use. So I had to go on the inside of the van, and this is the fixing for the window opener. And initially I tried to cut it around and made a bit of an arse uh, so what I did is I took it off on the inside and there's two holes so I on this one here I managed to uh, cover over when this was off and then cut around the shape this stuff when it's windy outside it folds up and sticks to itself so it leaves with these horrible creases that can't come out but I've only got a limited number of these sheets, so I'm going to have to make do. Um, another thing is these air bubbles look quite ugly. Um, and I've tried to remove them on the inside, but it just seems to be something to do with this fixture that doesn't allow me to push air bubbles away. Yeah, I've finished the window and it's turned out okay. A um, few things I'm not happy about. This corner was a bit shite. And you can see a little bit of light coming through the corner there. But apart from that, it seems to be okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to do. So we want it to grip at the top, that's the that's the first thing. Because then it'll stop the rest from sliding down. So we just tuck that in there and then bring it down. It's super important to use lots of fluid as I discovered yesterday. Because if you don't then you get shitty air bubbles that cause lots of problems for you later on. So, I've just lined that up with the outside edge of the window, so it's all flush. And, yeah, you can see already we're starting to get air bubbles, but we'll try and beat those out. And if we can't, then I'll grab the heat gun and remove them that way. The problem is here is that it's encroaching upon the actual um, 
window latch itself and it's not allowing it to flatten so I'm going to just cut a small section out here and see if that helps. Must have done the job so we started off with a half shitty job and now we have a window that fits great. There's much less bubbles than before. Still creases but they don't really work out. <laughs> 